this video, we're going to look at factoring a sum and difference of cubes. Again, we're looking at, uh, factoring polynomials with two terms. And when there's two terms, we should always be thinking factoring tricks. And if the exponent is a 3, that is our clue to use these cubes formula. Now, unlike squares, cubes can be factored whether or not it's a positive or a negative. There's only a minor difference between them. What we'll do whenever we are doing cubes is we'll identify the roots and put them in the first factor. A and B are the roots. A to the third power is A cubed. B to the third power is B cubed. It works the same way with sum or difference, A and B. Then, it will factor to a longer trinomial. And the way we get the longer trinomial is we look at this first guy, the A, and square it. Then, we will multiply them together, A times B. A, B goes in the middle. Then, we will square the last term, or the B. So this is going to take a little memorizing, but we take the roots. How about I do them in a different color? We take the roots, we square the first one, we multiply them together, and then we square the last one. Same thing with the difference. We take the roots, we square the first one, multiply them together, and then square the last one. This is going to take a little bit of getting used to, but once you establish this pattern, every problem factors exactly the same way. Now, we didn't put any signs in here. The only difference between the sum of cubes and the difference of cubes is the signs. And to help us remember the signs, I think about the word soap. And if I can remember the word soap, I'll be able to factor either of these, because the S tells me to use the same sign as the problem. Same sign is a plus, difference of cubes, same sign is a minus. The O tells me to use the opposite signs. So in the sum, the opposite is minus. In the difference, the opposite is plus. And the last one is always plus. Now, to help us with cubes as you're working with these problems, it'll be useful to know a few cubes. So here's a little more memorizing for you. You should know that 1 cubed is 1. You should know that 2 cubed is 8. You should know that 3 cubed is 27. 4 cubed is 64. 5 cubed is 125. And, uh, uh I'm out of colors. 6 cubed is 216. Those are if you have those memorized, you're probably going to be okay for what we're doing. So as I look at a problem like m cubed plus 125, I see two terms, so I'm thinking shortcut. I see cubes, and so I'm thinking cubes formula. The cubes formula says, well, what are the cube roots? What to the third power is m cubed? Well, m to the third power is m to the third power. And what cubed is 125? That's one of them I said you should have memorized. 5 cubed is 125. So now for the big one. We square the first term, m squared. Multiply them together, m times 5 is 5m. And we square the last term, 5 squared is 25. Then we use soap to fill in the signs. This is a plus, so same sign as plus. Opposite sign is minus, and the last one is always positive. This factors to m plus 5 times m squared minus 5m plus 25. Again, as always, we could check this by multiplying it out. m times m squared is m cubed. m times negative 5m is negative 5m squared m times 25 is plus 25m. 5 times m squared is plus 5m squared. 5 times negative 5m is negative 25m squared. Oops, just m, sorry. 
and 5 times 25 is positive 125. As we combine like terms, the m squareds will subtract to 0, and the m's will subtract to 0, and we're just left with m cubed plus 125, which matches the original problem. So the formula does work. Let's try this one, 8a cubed minus 27y cubed. Well, we're two terms, we're thinking shortcuts. We've got some cubes, so let's see if the cubes formula could work. What is the cubed root of 8a cubed? What to the third power is 8? 2, that's another one of those I said you had to memorize. And of course, don't lose the a. What to the third power is 27y cubed? Well, we'll say 3, y. 27 again is one of those I said you should memorize. And now that we have those, we can fill in the big trinomial by squaring the first term. 2 squared is 4, a squared. Multiplying them together, 2 times 3 is 6, a y, and squaring the last term. 3y times 3y is 9 y squared. Just have to fill in the signs with soap. Same sign as the problem, minus. Opposite sign as the problem, plus. And the last one's always positive. We have our final solution, 2a minus 3y times 4a squared plus 6ay plus 9y squared. Formula takes a little more to get used to, but once you do, factoring a sum and difference of cubes is very, very quick.